well guys now um uh, again i am telling you that what i have done that i have done basically there were two vectors vector f1 which is 650 newton the vector f2 which is 500 newton the angle between these two vectors is 60 degree today i am telling you that parallelogram rule of vector addition so i chose a scale 13 centimeter and 10 centimeter so according to these given scales i have drawn the line oa which is equal to 13 centimeter and the line ob which is equal to 10 centimeter now as you know that in the parallelogram opposite sides are equal and parallel opposite side are equal and parallel first of all i am going to complete the parallelogram so remember this if there is a parallelogram so the opposite sides of the parallelogram are equal and parallel opposite sides of the parallelogram are equal and parallel so here this oa side is parallel to op this is 13 this should also be 13 this is 10 centimeter this is also 10 centimeter okay now i am joining b with p because this is one side of the parallelogram and this is the other side of the parallelogram now i have joined uh, i have completed a parallelogram okay now here one one very important thing that here you can see that this is the vector f1 this is vector f1 and this is vector f2 this is vector f2 and this is vector f1 now here according to head to tail rule you can see that this vector f1 the head of vector f1 is joined with the tail of vector f2 this is the tail of vector f2 this tail of vector f2 and head of vector f1 are joined at point a so here you can see if you are completing a parallelogram even then here head to tail rule is, is applied now what we are going to find out to find the resultant To find out the resultant of these two forces, I, as I told you that this is the initial point. From the initial point, this is the beginning point and this is the ending point where the second force is ending. So you will have to mention it with the help of a straight line. This will be your resultant. This line which I am going to draw which is OP, this will be the resultant of the both factors and its direction will be mentioned with the help of an arrow and how you are going to write down the resultant this r is the resultant this op is the diagonal of the parallelogram the length of this diagonal uh, diagonal gives you the measurement of the resultant now how i am going to measure the uh, length of this diagonal with the help of the ruler i can measure the length of this diagonal please observe it very carefully that how i am going to measure the length because uh, measuring length accurately and drawing the length accurately is very important you yourself also have to do the same 19.7 or 19.8 it is almost 19.8 i think i think so so resultant is 19.8 centimeter now how you are going to write down the answer of the resultant resultant force is 19.8 multiply by uh, multiply by the uh, scale which you have chosen multiply by 50 so i am multiplying 19.8 by 50 i got 990 so this is basically 990 newton force okay this force this resultant force is the 990 newton now what is what about angle you have to measure the angle of the resultant force it's better it's better to measure the angle of the resultant force with the first force is it will be easier i suggest you although you can also take the angle from the second force but it's it's uh, better to measure the angle with the with reference to the first force here you can see that i have measured angle uh, 25 26 in between it is uh, 26 and 27 so you have to mention that what is the angle 
it is making an angle of 26 degree with F1. You have to mention the name F1. Whatever the force you are taking, you have to mention that the resultant is making the angle of almost 26 degree uh, with the F1 force. Now I am using a different scale. The F1 was um, 650 Newton and F2 was 500 Newton and the angle between these two forces was 60 degree. Now here I am choosing a different scale. Let me say that 100 Newton is represented by one centimeter. Here you can see that I have taken a small scale so that my construction can be uh, done easily. Here obviously 650 Newton will be represented by 650 divided by 100 gives you 6.5 centimeter. Okay, in the same way, 500 divided by 100 gives you 5 centimeters. Well, now I am going to draw again. So concentrate to the work that what I'm going to do, I am going to draw the line measuring 6.5 centimeter. This is going to be the other, uh, other scale, 6.5 centimeter O A line. Here I have drawn O A line. The same method I applied in the previous case. Now I am going to draw the angle of 60 degree because these two forces were at an angle of 60 degree. So keeping at O, my protractor i will have to draw the angle of 60 degree now here i have marked the angle of 60 degree you can see that 500 newton force can be represented by 5 centimeter line so here i am going to draw the line of 5 centimeter at an angle of 60 degree as you know that the radius of your uh, protractor is almost 5 centimeter so here, this is five centimeter line. Now, as I told you that for the construction, those who are familiar with the geometrical construction, they must be aware that whenever we are going to draw the parallelogram, we have to open the compass according to the side. If you are going to take this side, which is 6.5 centimeter. So now observe it carefully, as you know that in a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. So I have to open this compass equal to the side, which I'm going to draw opposite to OA. This is 6.5. Now here you will have to keep your compass at point B. At point B, I am keeping the compass and I'm going to draw an arc like this. Here you can see that this arc is going to be 6.5 centimeter in length. Okay, this is the first card because against this side, I'm going to draw this side. Now you have to open your compass equal to OB, which is five centimeter. Here at A, you will have to keep your compass and draw another arc like this. These two arcs are meeting at point P. P is the point where these two arcs are meeting. Okay, now you are going to complete the parallelogram. First of all, we, you have to complete the parallelogram. So here you can see that I have completed a parallelogram. Opposite sides are equal and parallel. This AP is parallel to OB, which is five centimeter. This is also five centimeter. As you know that these arrows are showing the directions of the each forces. Now here, automatically you can see that the head to tail rule is applied on this parallelogram. Now I am going to join O and P, which is the diagonal of the parallelogram. I am joining these two, okay, with the help of a straight line. Now I am going to measure, first of all, I have to measure the length of the line to find out the magnitude. Uh, the length of the line is going to be 10.1 millimeter, I think. So it is almost 10.1 millimeter. So this resultant is about 10.1 centimeter, sorry, 10.1 centimeter. There may be a slip of tongue, so please concentrate. Uh, 10.1 centimeter. This is the length of the diagonal. We are taking this as uh, 6.5 and this length is going to be 5 centimeter and this length is going to be 
10.1 or 10.2 something okay so if you have if you will take uh, the measurement very carefully then the chances of wrong result will be decreased so your resultant is 10.1 multiply by 100 so it is almost when you multiply it by 100 so you will get it that 10.1 multiply by 100 gives you 10 or 10 newton here you can see that when i have constructed with a shorter scale um, there is a difference of answer now let let me conclude this the angle is also now you have to see that what the angle is between the force f1 and the resultant here you can see that angle is almost 27 degree okay so here you can almost 26 or 27 degree uh, angle is uh, again the same 26 or 27 degree making an angle making an angle of 26 with f1 okay so this is basically 20 degree you will have to you will have to draw this again for the sake of practice you can see that i have done this in the previously when i was doing it with the help of uh, the scale which is equal to uh, 15 newton to one centimeter my answer was 990 here you can see that the answer is 10 or 10 newton so this difference of answer may occur due to any slight uh, measure uh, mistake in measurement if you will take the measurement accurately so this difference may be decreased but whenever you are taking a larger scale now so the chances of mistake decreases but examiner always gives you in such type of questions examiner gives you a margin of one or two millimeters so don't worry about it but your uh, your construction must be as much as possible i hope that you have understood session